David, how much was it tonight your team not only um, playing with a sense of urgency but also being able to execute? Yeah, well, I thought it started last night. I really liked a lot of things we did last night. I thought we were playing faster. I thought there was more cohesiveness as a five-man pack through all three zones last night. I thought we continued it tonight. And, you know, one of the things we talked about, think about where we were three weeks ago against this team and how far we've come and the progress we've made. And, you know, no one's probably faced more adversity than we have. And these guys have stuck together. And all they've done is come here and get better every day. And, you know, I give them a ton of credit. I couldn't be happier for them. Uh, you know, you can start and feel that we're feeling a lot better about ourselves. We're starting to win some hockey games. We're starting to play better. And uh, I'm just really happy for them because it's been a tough go of it uh, these first 20-plus uh, games. But, you know, we're starting to come out of it. You talked about, you know, we asked you about the special teams and how much it impacted the game after the fact. I felt like it was even more of an impact today. Vancouver was hemmed in, had you guys hemmed in, and then you guys killed off a penalty and scored. What can you say about the special team, not only scoring, but also creating momentum? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think they got two power play goals, right? So, you know, but we had a, a couple big kills when we needed them. And then we get the four on three and we score, which is huge. Um, you know, we just we showed a lot of grit, and a lot of a lot of character here tonight, and we've been certainly going in that direction. And you know, the physicality throughout the game, not just the stuff that happened after somebody gets hit, but just the the subtleties of the game that when you need to be physical, that maybe a lot of people don't recognize. Just uh, you know, it's winning hockey. That's what it looks like. Well, go ahead. Matches a win like this, and the way you want bring guys closer together. Listen, it always helps when you, you know, you dig in like we did tonight and you, you know, lean on each other and you do it together. And when you win and you get that feeling and you come in the locker room after, I mean, all that can do is bring you closer together. So, you know, that certainly uh, certainly won't be lost on us as, uh, as we move forward here. As I said, it'll probably be on ESPN tonight. So it was a heck of a move. What was the benchers' reaction to it? Uh, Guys were going nuts, really. I mean, it was a pretty special goal, and uh, you know, he's gutted some some injuries out, and you know, I love him as a kid. I love him as a player. I mean, he's he's a guy you can win with, and we're lucky to have him. I asked you about Ty Emerson this morning. He scores his first NHL goal. Just overall has a good game. What did you see from him in, in that pair again tonight? Yeah, he just continues to go in the right direction. And Mario had another good night too. You know, Mario played well, and you know, him and Emerson have kind of create a little bit of a chemistry together and you, know, you can see Ty getting more confident, more comfortable and you know I'm just uh, he's done a good job for he's a thick kid, he defends hard and you know he's got some poise with the puck. Yeah, you like to also seeing your team just like keep the pressure on the in, in the Vancouver zone. It looked like you guys just kept the pressure on the goalie the whole Yeah, it was funny cuz you know do do scoring chances and shots on that. I thought you know when we talked about our scoring chances of the first, second period I thought we had more because it felt like we had zone time and had some almost chances. Again, I jokingly say we lead the league in almost chances, but just we looked, you know, we're looking different, right? We're looking more more cohesive and, you know, playing faster and moving pucks and, you know, so, you know, but spending time in the ozone feels good. You know, there's a couple of chances I mean, to feel deflated, the tied it in the first, tied it in the second. So what was the discussion after the second period to... Sort of them up in the third. Well, just listen, we, you know, we're starting to play with swag and we're starting to play fearless and don't lose that, right? Let's go win it. You know, go win the hockey game and, you know, keep making plays and keep staying on top of them and be fearless. And, uh, you know, that's been our message here over the last few weeks. So I know Velasquez was back after four games, I think. What do you thought of him doing? Listen, it was a tough game to be thrown into. I thought he held his own. I thought he did a pretty good job. After losing 17-2, to two, the previous two games with these guys, how good of the field did it help maybe wash the bad taste of those two losses out? It feels good to win, period. But like I said, you know, to think about where we were three weeks ago uh, when we went through what we went through and, you know, played a pretty good game up in Vancouver, could have won that one, and then do what we did tonight. I mean, that's – call that progress. That Seattle game, was that a real cut check for this I mean, obviously everyone was upset. Everybody was pissed. Yeah, turn the page yeah. on that. Yeah, well, listen, you know, don't let one turn into two, and we didn't, right? I mean, you know, but again, that's going to happen in this league, right? And you got to, you can be pissed, but move forward, right? You can't get all wrapped up into a game, you know, but we showed things that you don't ever want to see in a game. You know, you're going to have off nights, but they can't be for those reasons that happened in Seattle. And, 
you know, we certainly didn't show any of those signs over the last few games, and we weren't showing any of them for a while, really. What can you say about, you know, obviously the scrum happened, and yeah, we've talked about the responses of your teammates, but they didn't get sucked into that sort of play. They went right back to their game plan after the whole line brawl. What can you say to that? Well, again, it's the, that's being mentally tough to just move forward and, you know, take care of the business that's in front of you, and now you're going to play hockey. And, you know, we drew a penalty and get the four-on-three goal. So, you know, again, it's a sign of, you know, winning entails a lot, right? It's not just being the most talented or the fastest or – you need to have a lot of characteristics and showing that type of mental fortitude and toughness when you get in a big scrum and then get back at it and play hockey and draw a penalty and get a four on three goal. I mean, that says an awful lot about your resiliency and your mental toughness. Coach, I know the road has been a little hard this season. Really? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> and, and, you know, there were a couple of games that were, you were happy with at least. Do you feel this now finally translating to maybe one of these road games and start building consistency on the road? Well, we got a home game before that, so I'm not thinking about the road trip yet. But, you know, no matter where we're playing, whether it's here, on the road, you know, in a parking lot, you got to play the same way. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, the recipe for success doesn't change regardless of where you're at. So, you know, we're going to enjoy a day off tomorrow and get ready to play Washington. Thank you. Thank awesome. you.